Well, you may have heard the term polar vortex being kicked around of late, and for some of us, it brings back some pretty frigid memories in recent years. A Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith has worked for you tonight explaining exactly what it is and how it could influence the weather we may be seeing soon. Carly. Yeah, the polar vortex isn't something that comes directly for your house and, and impacts you directly, but it could impact those temperatures. When we're looking to forecast uh, what the polar vortex is going to do, we tend to look into the stratosphere, which is above the troposphere, which is where we typically see uh, all of our weather happening. That polar vortex is going to be found, of course, at the pole in the northern hemisphere. That's the North Pole, and this is the area. It's always here all year long. It's going to be an area of colder air rotating counterclockwise, kind of uh, an area of low pressure. This area does expand as we head into the winter. That's natural due to the lack of, of sunlight during the winter. But right now, up in the stratosphere, we are seeing a little bit of high pressure building, a little bit warmer temperatures up there. And so that's going to weaken the polar vortex and uh, lead to the possibility of an unstable jet stream, temperature swings, and a possible cold blast later on this winter if we get pieces of this vortex to break off and and send some of that deep Arctic air down south. Exactly where that will happen and when that will happen is still a bit of a question mark. Still a little bit too far out to forecast that. For now, we're dealing with warmer temperatures and Brian Davis will have your complete Storm Team 2 forecast coming up. I remember the last one. It was